Hello, I'm Ash, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I've just watched The Shape of Water, and I'm gonna be honest, it's a fucking weird film. It really is. I didn't really understand it, and I was left feeling quite disturbed and mildly confused. Now, I don't know if you've seen this film yet, or if you've heard about this film, you probably have, it's been around for a couple of months, and I think it won one certain type of award somewhere, but I just wanna talk about it. I just need to get this stuff off my chest. If you've never seen this film, you don't know anything about it, basically what happens is this cleaner, she works in like a, a military American lab during this like the Soviet Cold War era, and she's a cleaner. And what she does is she cleans, and she cleans, and she cleans, until she meets a monster fish man who is being kept in a fish tank in the lab. Are you, you with me so far? She meets this fish monster man and falls deeply in love with it. Now, bearing in mind, she works she, she works on a military base. She could have met a scientist, a doctor, a military man, a general. She could have met anybody to fall in love with. But no, she, she meets the one monster, monster fish man who's living in the fish tank. And that, that's the man for her. One of those other ones with qualifications and a good steady job. So it's love at first sight. She falls in love with it madly in love with it, you know, it's relatable. We've all been there, we've all been to the aquarium, we've all looked through the fish tank and gone, oh, oh, I love that fish. This is the picture of the fish man, the monster fish man. Not the most attractive man in the world, unless you like your men covered in scales, slimy and stinking. Let's be honest, he's gotta be stinking, right? Have you ever smelt a fish tank? Like, it absolutely stinks, so he must absolutely reek. Although saying that, she probably doesn't smell that much better, but well, her fingers probably don't smell that, that much better. If you've watched the first five minutes of the film, you'll understand that uh, she gets a little few fishy fingers herself. Wink, wink, wink. Some self-love in a bathtub. Wink, wink, wink. First five minutes, keep you hooked. All oh, that's naughty. So she falls in love with it, starts feeding it hard-boiled eggs in the fish tank, because that's, that's obviously the romance food of choice, hard-boiled eggs. Although, probably not the best choice or food for a fishman monster. Probably should have gone down uh, Pets at Home or Pet Smart. Got a few of those, uh, you know, the flakes that stink that you pour on the top of a fish tank. So the fish go. But anyway, she feeds it, listens to music, pretends to dance a bit, and all that type of stuff. Then she kind of goes, let's steal it. Let's take it home. I want to get this thing out of the lab. Which, to be fair, at this point of the film, you also feel like, like yeah, I, I like him. I don't have a pint with him. He's all right. Let's free him. Let's not keep him in this fish tank any longer. But for me personally, the, the love for the Fishman monster completely went, completely went out the door when he ate the neighbor's cat. Like he literally ate the neighbor's cat, ripped its fucking head off and just scoffed down. And you think right at this point, surely she's gonna go, sorry Fishman, you need to sling your hook. You need to leave. I need to like flush you down the toilet or release you somehow. She doesn't do that. In fact, she does kind of the complete opposite. She has sex with it. Now I just want to say that if I ate a cat, if I ripped its head off in front of a girl, there is no way I am getting laid. So I don't understand her mentality there. She's like, fuck me, I'm gonna I'm gonna have sex with this one. Because that's not the natural response, is it? No girl's gonna start hitting me up and be like, hey Ash, I watched the way you ate that cat. How about you come and chow down on this pussy for round two? The whole film is just weird and disturbing. It's not beautiful, it's not poetic, it's not all this other meaning that other people have suddenly said it is because, I don't know, it, it's fucking weird. Like this review right here, right, it says, This enchanting fairy tale with a hint of realism. Where's the hint of realism? Bullshit. Is an exquisite piece of cinema that compels you to believe in miracles. No. So I don't understand why everybody is just glossed over the fact that she's having sex with a fish man monster. Like he doesn't even have a penis, like she describes in the film his penis, which is a flap, which opens up and then a little a little willy comes out. And she tells her friend in the film this. And do you know what her friend does? Nothing. She's like, ooh. Can you imagine, right, if there was a film, or even in real life, let's go over a film, where a cleaner worked at an aquarium or a zoo, fell in love with a walrus, started feeding the walrus hard boiled eggs, then took the walrus home, kept it in the bathroom and had sex with it. No one's gonna say, oh, it's exquisite and beautiful if someone has sex with a walrus. So why are they saying it about a fish man monster? I'm sorry. So if you wanna go and watch the film, go and watch the film. It's not a bad film to watch. It's actually quite enjoyable, just as long as you can get past fish. Fish sex, it's really hard to say, fish sex. Probably really hard to say because you shouldn't, shouldn't be saying it. Fish sex, fish sex. So Sean Connery would say it. 
for sure. I'm going to give it um, four hard boiled eggs out of nine. Um, so not a bad review, but you know, room for improvement. So thank you for watching this video. I've been Ash. If you share the same opinion of me, let me know. If you have the complete opposite opinion to me on this film, let me know. Just, just let me know, please. Communicate with me. I want to, I want to feel like people like me. So like the video as well, and then subscribe if you want. I don't know. Do what you want. Just do what you want. Just don't have sex with fish. Do whatever you want to do. Just don't have sex with a fish. Goodbye.